Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. Oh, that was a good one. Anyway, Scorpio, I've been meditating on this and the word that came up for you for your reading is dread. Oh, sorry. So, Scorpio, dread. Why are you dreading? What's, what are you dreading coming up? Hmm? Bear in mind, my these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended readings. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You have to come to my website if you want to book a private reading. People are getting scammed all over the place. So, let's make it easier for you. You, hit the link below to my website, gentvtarot.com, if you want to book a reading. That's the only way you're going to get one. I'm never going to come to you. If I do, it's not me. Don't fall for it. You have to come to my website to book a private reading. A lot of readers uh, are getting people, scammers, in their comment sections and things like that. So it's just a thing that's going around. It's bad people in the world. So... You choose your reader. Don't let your reader choose you. Scorpio. Red. The word is dread. Why? Talk to me, universe. Guys, we got for Scorpio. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and all that. You know, I have to say it. it's one of those things. right this is what it is Scorpio it's a feeling of what's coming that's what dread is <laughs> a feeling of what horrible thing might be coming that's that's what you're feeling at the moment you sort of feel like you're on a precipice here of uh, something something horrible is coming in this connection Is it full sight or have there been a sequence of events that just seem to be, I don't know, rolling faster and faster down the hill, gathering momentum until ah, the end. You've seen the person that you are with, you've seen them. It's like they, I feel like they're a flirt. I feel like they are openly a flirt. I, I, I sort of have a feeling that they don't like you going out with them when they go out with their friends because they want to be free and have a good time. And I feel like when they have gone out with you, there's been a few instances of uh, people that they know that they've met when they've been out that are, uh, uh, and, and, uh, I don't know, I'm seeing somebody sitting in their lap or them sitting in somebody's lap and, or, or being pulled into somebody's lap, something like that. Um, and them looking at you like, oh, Jesus. They caught me. And then the whole gaslighting thing. It's, you're making it up in your head. It was innocent. It was nothing. You're sort of feeling it coming. Because this is what you need to know right now. This is not good. It's not great. This is a, a feeling of looking at everything that you're losing. Because it feels like you're losing it now. Those three cups that have fallen over. You're looking at that. And you, you're not looking at... well. Maybe this is probably for the best. If this person isn't good to you and they're behaving like this, it, it's for the best that this ends, you know. No, it's not nice. It's 
Tell me more about what you need to know right now. This person is not settled. They're not ready to settle down. They're not ready to be in a committed relationship. They, uh, I don't know, you're, you're holding on to something like mist here. This person is getting away from you and there's not really an awful lot you can do about it. They're not ready. They still just want to have fun. You know what? They feel like they ought to settle down, but they don't want to. At my age, I should be, but I just, I, I don't know, I still want to have fun. They, I, I feel like they still, with this, this card's out, they still want to enjoy themselves, celebrate, have fun. That's the best you can hope for, is like, celebration, woo! And, and... Having a good time. You gotta talk about it. You gotta talk to them. I was just seeing this, and it, it just said to me, you have to tell them how you feel. Don't shout it. Sit them down and say, what's going on in your head? I'm unhappy. You're making me unhappy. I was kind of okay and happy, but uh, your behavior, it's not conducive to what you're saying you want this relationship to be. It's making me unhappy. I feel like they've said to you, like, yeah. They feel like they ought to be in this kind of relationship, but they don't want to be. But I feel like they've said to you, yes, I want to be in a serious relationship with you. Woo, party. You're not going to, you're all, you, you're not going to get what you want out of this. What's coming up is the end of a relationship. And it's a good thing. I'm sorry. I know you're dreading it. I know that you, a feeling of dread has come over you, but... It's because you are seeing that it's ending. Yeah, I'm sorry, my love. It's 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 over. I think if you guys actually did end up having a serious relationship and sorry, chakra's blocking up here. If you guys did have a serious relationship, you got married and, and you know bought a house together and all of that, it's over. It's this it's ending. This person wasn't ready. They've got the three of swords here. Heartbreak. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh it, you know, the cards are kind of saying you foresaw this quite early on as well, but you stuck with it. That's a little red flag you noticed and you ignored it. We need to pay attention to that in the future, okay? When you see the red flags, are you ever going to ignore them again? I don't think you are. I don't know, actually. This card, I was sort of looking at it, at, at the meaning of it, that I'm like, oh, can we intuitively read this? Uh, there's a couple of big old red flags waving there and you got your back turned to it and ignoring it completely. Hmm. I'm intuitively reading it. That's a great card. But if you're actually, no, don't, sorry. Reading it, reading it. Knowing the meaning of the card, yeah, that's a great card. Intuitively reading it, sorry, my illumination went off. Intuitively reading it, there's a couple of big old red flags waving there that was like you are completely being ignored. So they, we, this, we need to pay attention to this. As I'm an intuitive reader, I must pay attention. Sorry, why is it, why is the ten of pentacles here? La la la, red flags are waving and ignoring them. <sighs> this is why the red flags are waving, because uh, this relationship is over, but it sort of seems like you're ignoring that and still trying to make it work. It 
it's like you're ignoring your common sense. You don't want this person to go away, you feel like you love this person. I, I, I understand that you think that you do, but... The real problem here is that... You never actually really managed to get them, and that's... That's the problem. Your ego really wants them. I'm not saying you're egotistical, it's different. That's entirely different. Don't take that the wrong way. Don't keep trying to manifest this person back. They want different things. It sort of looks like they're going to cut you out of their life. And that's going to make it harder for you. Whereas you need to be the one to make the decision. I just saw 11.11 on the clock there. Manifestation. What else comes with 11? Instant manifestation. Don't be manifesting this person back into your life. You need to be moving forwards and they're going to cut you out. So you need to be cutting them out first. You need to be, for you, saying, I'm not putting up with this crap. I don't think they're very faithful to you. I'm going to be honest here. The outcome is that if you keep trying to manifest this person in and they stay with you, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to be settled. I'm going to take this into extended in a second where I'm going to ask how this person feels about you. Really genuinely. How do they feel about you in their heart? How do they see you? What do they want to say to you? What are their intentions towards you? And some guidance from the universe. But this looks like you need to just be the one to make the decision. They're not making you happy. So be happy. How do you be happy? You walk away from this. I made myself a sandwich earlier and I came in here for a second to get my cup to make a cup of tea when I went back in. Barry, my cat, had his head in the butter. Literally a second. I, d I hadn't even completely finished making my sandwich. Had his head in the butter. He, his head came out and he was like whiskers, butter everywhere. Like. I, I have no words. He was... He was told off. He got a little bit told off there. I don't like telling him off because he's very lovely, but... In the... I was... It was seconds and he was not hungry because I'd just fed him. A new start is coming. just wanted you to, to, to tell you what's, what's been going on today. And Barry's in trouble for eating my butter. A new start's coming, my loves. This is good. I'm glad about that. And your love lyric for the day is... Good Enough by moi. If you take a look in my um, playlists, there is one called My Music. This is a song by me called Good Enough. Written by me, directed by me, all the music's made by me. I know you have issues with trust, believe in me, you know you must I want to turn that around and believe in love, but I don't feel good enough And that's kind of it, maybe you just don't feel good enough and that's why you want to stay in a situation that hurts Time to work that out, isn't it? Thanks for joining me, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell See you guys later